Hi guys, I'm Ashish from Guiding Tech and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can take a remote control of an Android device using your Windows computer via TeamViewer Quick Support tool. Now let's get started and see how that's done. Now the very first thing that you need to do is install the TeamViewer Quick Support application from the Play Store. Now for some devices you might have to install uh, add-ons like for Samsung we have a Samsung uh, Quick Support add-on, for LG we have another Quick Support add-on so uh, depending on your device there are add-ons that you might have to install for the app to work. Now the next thing that you should do is download the TeamViewer Windows application and install it on your computer from where you want to control the Windows, uh, the Android phone. Now once everything is installed, next uh, launch the app on your computer and at the same time launch the app on the Android device that you want to get connected to. Now when both the devices are connected to the internet, you will have uh, a partner ID on your uh, like you have your own uh, unique ID on the Android device that you need to send it to the computer that is control that will be controlling your device and enter it along the partner ID screen so here I have the ID on that is on my Android and I'm just gonna hit the button connect to partner now once I do that I will get a confirmation dialog box on my Android and have to tap on the allow button now once the connection is established I will have a control panel something like this wherein I can uh, control or see uh, most of the aspects of my device. Now here I have the uh, RAM, the CPU percentage, the battery along with all the uh, network issue, uh, network information or the Bluetooth information that I might need. Now to connect to the remote, uh, uh, to, to the device remotely just click on the remote control over here now it will give you another uh, notification on your phone you just have to tap on the allow button and here you have uh, the device that is remotely uh, connected to your windows computer now you can just uh, tap on the home uh, like click on the home screen to go to the home button so here's your home screen uh, as you can see on the device now the remote connection work on two ways so if i do something on my android it will be reflected on the uh, computer as well now they, uh, as it is connected uh, using an internet connection and not directly via Wi-Fi there might be a lag that you might find it will like uh, for my example I have a lag of 0.5 seconds and it depends upon the internet connection that you have now the next thing that uh, uh, you can do is uh, you can actually uh, open the file transfer protocol and send the files that from your system remotely to the Android now this can be very useful if you uh, in like while some troubleshooting you have to uh, transfer uh, some files that might be needed on the Android device and it should be run on the Android device and you don't want the uh, person to know uh, to feel what exactly is going on. Now uh, let me just go and uh, show you something of how the remote desktop works. So here I have my I have clicked on my settings and you can see the setting windows appear. Now I can just uh, either I can use my keyboard to scroll down or I can just use my mouse pointer to scroll up and down. So this is pretty much uh, a basic of everything that you need to do on uh, learn on how you can control your Android device remotely from your Windows computer. Now this uh, app is free to use for personal um, usage and uh, you can actually uh, use it to uh, troubleshoot uh, many of uh, to troubleshoot your family and friends uh, android devices whenever they want your assistance on uh, some issues they are facing so uh, do tell us uh, if you have any doubts in the comment sections if you like the video don't forget to press the thumbs up button and if you haven't subscribed to our channel do press the subscribe button as well thank you for watching